Hello everyone, Meldron here. We had a little hiatus in the updates, but we got another one today, Monday, April 8th, and this is a good one. This is by a different community manager named Bornak. I'd like to apologize for not getting this up immediately. I was away from my computer today most of the day, so got back as soon as I could, and I'm going to do the update for you guys. So the title is Classic PvP Content Plan. Since we broke down the six phases of content that we'll be rolling out for Classic, we've heard the increase in requests for PvP details, so we wanted to get you up to speed on our plans there. Excellent, thank you for that, because we were worried about it. As was the case when World of Warcraft originally launched in 2004, there won't be a formal PvP system in WoW Classic at the outset. This is very important because it shows progressive PvP content instead of just Battlegrounds. It allows time for World PvP. So let's continue reading. You'll still be able to do PvP, of course, and there will be no dishonorable kills. So you'll be free to repeatedly hunt down every player and NPC in, say, Strangothorn Vale, to your stealthy heart's content. So this is great for two reasons. One, it breeds a healthy PvP environment, and two, it recapitulates what happened in actual Vanilla WoW. There was a period where there was no dishonorable kills then as well, and it was introduced later. Now, this could be good or bad. Some people might want rank rewards immediately, but I think it's good to have a healthy Vanilla, quote-unquote, PvP experience in Classic WoW just for the hell of it. So this is really interesting. That'll change once Phase 2 rolls out, and we add the honor system, which will introduce honorable kills, dishonorable kills, and PvP rank rewards. So guys, when Phase 2 pops up with Dire Maul, we'll be able to actually gain rank. For many people, they may have a leveling experience early on where there is no ranking system, and the ranking system will come in Phase 2. The items you earn from the PvP rank rewards will be the versions from Patch 1.12. Keep in mind though, just as it did originally, it will require substantial time investment to rank up through the honor system. Now, this is good and bad. PvP rank rewards did change in itemization over the course of Vanilla WoW, and they're just going to do the 1.12 system here. These are going to be pretty powerful. They're going to be powerful for PvE settings as well. But remember, it's going to be hard to get this. And the way Honor works and rank works in Vanilla WoW is that it's relative to everyone else in your server. So if everyone else is ranking, it's going to be harder to gain rank. For those people that do get high ranks and are accessible to these high PvP rewards, they will be very powerful. This is actually kind of interesting, kind of cool. This is something that even private servers didn't do. This is going to be a very brand new experience to the Vanilla WoW PvP system, and I think it's good because it honors exclusivity over accessibility. Vanilla WoW is all about exclusivity, being able to get somewhere at the highest level of gear, the highest level of rating or PvP. So this is an exclusive reward that not many people are going to get. And this is really interesting because it breeds that competitive nature that Retail WoW really doesn't have anymore. For those interested in the rank rewards, earning epic gear will require consistent dedication over a long period of time as a top contributor on your realm. We don't expect to see many people running around with these items early on, but we're certain Hillsbred Foothills will still see its fair share of action. In the third phase, this is phase three, we'll introduce the first Battlegrounds AV, version 1.12, which they covered in a previous blue post, and Warsong Gulch, alongside with their associated vendors. And this is how it was in Vanilla as well. These two Battlegrounds came out first, and then Arathi Basin came out. So that means there's going to be two phases, guys, with no Battlegrounds. A lot of room for World PvP. It's very good. One thing to note is that there were a couple of updates to these vendors over the course of the original patch releases. So some items won't be available right away. For example, the spell penetration trinkets available from the Warsong Gulch vendor weren't introduced until patch 1.9, which is AQ. So we're currently thinking that we'll add these in phase 5, which will be AQ in that scenario. So this is interesting. So there is progressive itemizations for some things. Some things won't be available. I would, shouldn't say progressive itemization. Some things just won't be available until later. So that's good for scaling purposes, but as far as gear, it will remain 1.12 stats. The Arathi Basin Battleground will follow in Phase 4, so three phases will go on until AB comes out, along with its specific vendor. It'll be interesting to see how many people stay behind the Guard to Flag. Wink. Finally, in Phase 6, which is the final phase, we'll have the World PvP Objectives in Selethus and Eastern Plague Lands, which will come out at the same time as Nax. So these are those uh, tower-type mechanics that are, if you played TBC and didn't play Vanilla, remember those things in uh, Hellfire and Zanger Marsh, just like you control those towers. It's very similar to that, so that'll come out later in the game of Phase 6. Here's what the PvP content looks like mapped out with the phases we recently posted about. So phase one, WoW Classic Launch. You can PvP one another in the world, but there is no tracking and no formal reward for doing so. Phase two, honor system including dishonorable kills and PvP rank rewards. Phase three, All Track Valley version 1.12 and Warsong Gulch. Phase four, Rothy Basin and phase six, World PvP Objectives in Silithus and Eastern Plaguelands. As we mentioned before, we haven't yet determined exactly when each of these content phases will occur, but we'll keep you updated as they draw closer. We're here reading what you have to say, so we wanted to thank you all 
for your feedback and discussions about Classic. Keep it going. So that's good. They're obviously listening to us. So this is actually, I think, way more good than bad. The only iffy part is the 1.12 non-progressive itemization with the PvP rank rewards, which could significantly alter not only PvP, but PvE progression as well. But again, I think this will be a very small percentage of population that will gain sufficient rank to get these pieces, and if they do, they deserve it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you had a great day today. Double upload today. You got Classic Ball Gems and this, so pretty awesome stuff. Keep on keep on the grind, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.